So if the Blender 4.0 Alpha finally released, I'm gonna talk about perhaps one of the coolest features that comes with Blender 4, and that is light linking. So to demonstrate this, I've just got the simple scene I put together. It's just a uh, backdrop here and just three objects. The idea is here that we're gonna take lights in a scene and we're gonna tell Blender now that this light can only affect certain objects that we tell it to affect, which is really awesome. There's a lot of cool reasons why this um, is gonna help us out. Like sometimes we don't want certain things to have as much reflection or glare. So let me just show you how it works. So I'm assuming you have a scene that you're gonna follow along with. So at this current point, you can see these two lights are both equally affecting this, um, all of these objects, all four objects, the plane, the cube, the cylinder, and the monkey head. But I want this one here at the back, okay? I'm gonna rotate it in. And I don't want this one to be reflecting on the floor here like that. I just want that one to be affecting these because if I look into my camera, that's a little bit too much reflection on the floor. So I'm gonna select this light and what you're gonna do, you're gonna go over to your object data properties. And if you're using Blender 4.0, what you're gonna see under your shading option here, there's now gonna be a light or a light linking option here, right? So you're gonna go to the drop down. So you select your light and you go new and it just says light linking for area. You can actually click on it and call it anything. Um, I'm just gonna call it uh, light link example. Why not? And now what you can do is you can come up here to your collections. So in this case, I see I have my cylinder here. I wanna take that cylinder and I click on it and drag it into this group. And now all of a sudden, it's only affecting that that's in the group. I can now go and maybe I want the monkey head. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab Suzanne monkey head, drag that in. Now the monkey head is being affected by that backlight. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get my cube and drag that in there as well. That's really cool, but it gets even cooler than that because now I can actually grab my other light. So I'm gonna grab this area light. And instead of having to do all of that again, I can just come to the drop down and I can now get that light link example. So you can create these custom little packages of groupings that you can now utilize very quickly and you can even save them. So that's really, really awesome. So now if I go shift A and I add in just another area light into my scene, move it up. With this one, I'm just gonna leave it as is. So it affects everything, but these two lights here now are giving me a little bit of extra lighting for these objects here. And now I am far more happy with this result. So now it's not too overlit on the background and that just helps me to focus more on these objects in the front. So I hope this has been a cool little introduction to light linking in Blender. Check out some of my other tutorials and other content and I'll see you guys next time for another Blender tutorial.